Okay makers, I hope you have successfully installed Visual Studio Code Editor and Python IDE in your machine. If you didn't install those softwares until now you can download and install both softwares for free. The installation process is also easy and straightforward for both softwares. After installing the two softwares, open Visual Studio Code Editor and go to the terminal window by clicking on the left bottom corner. While developing projects I advise you to put your projects in organized manner. So let us create an empty folder in desktop and name it Django Crush Course. Now on my VS Code terminal window I will run the command cd to my project folder directory which is cd desktop slash Django Crash Course in my case. cd stands for change directory. So when I run this command on my VS Code terminal my current directory will be switched to my project directory. CLS is a command which is used to clear the previous outputs from the terminal. Type Python and press enter to verify that Python is installed on your machine. If a Python shell is open to you it means Python is properly installed and added in your environment variable path. So type exit to exit out of the shell. If you got an error you have to install or you have to add the installation path of your Python IDE into your environment variable path list. If you install Python you can add the installation path of your Python IDE into your environment variable path list. Go to edit the system environment variable. Environment variable then go to path and click new to add your Python IDE installation path. The installation path is the path that you select when you install the Python IDE. Now we need to set up a virtual environment for our Django project. Even if it is not mandatory to set up a virtual environment, I highly recommend you to create it because it will help you to affect only your specific project folder rather than affecting the whole system when you develop on your local machine and it will help you to protect your secret files during hosting of the website. To create a virtual environment go to the terminal and type python-mvenv name of your virtual environment. Let us name it Django ENV. Now we have created a virtual environment but we need to activate it to start working on it. To activate the virtual environment run the command name of the virtual environment slash script with capitalized S slash activate. Whereas if you need to deactivate the virtual environment simply type the command deactivate. Now it is time to install the Django web framework on your machine. We will be installing Django using the pip command. Let us verify that pip is installed in our machine. Go to the command prompt and type pip dash dash version. As you can see pip is installed on my computer if you got an error do not worry that is because you haven't installed pip package manager on your computer. You can install pip by running two commands consecutively on cmd. You can copy the commands from the description box. After all, go to your project directory in your terminal. Activate your virtual environment and install Django by running the command pip install Django. This command will install the Django web framework on the virtual environment. Even if the Django crash course folder is empty when we created before, now it has a folder Django env. This is because we have installed our virtual environment in this specific folder. All our projects file and package will stored in this specific folder as long as the virtual environment is activated. Now we can create our very first Django project by running the command Django admin start project project name. We have successfully created our first Django project. A new folder with our project name will be created automatically. The folder consists of some Django default files. So we need to change our directory to the project folder by cd to my first project. Now we have set up everything. We need to start our development server by running the command python manage.py run server. If we open up our local host in a browser we will see this website which is initially coming up with any Django project. Do you face any error? Let me know in the comment section so that I can assist you. If you see this output on your browser congratulations. Believe it or not. You have successfully installed the Django web framework on your computer and you have developed your first Django website. Which is challenging for most beginners.